Truck drivers. It's Dan 84. Pointing fingers already. Haven't even gotten into it. Pointing fingers, because who's to blame? Society, that too. We're back. We're going to play some more American Truck Simulator. But first, let's talk about some things. I got a new update. New update. I got a new screen. I made a new screen. I, I knew I was going to use this hand because I've been practicing. I put my connections over there YouTube, the Twitter, the Instagram. So, the YouTube, obviously, where you're watching this video, probably. The Twitter, where sometimes I repost random stuff or people I follow and the Instagram where I'm usually talking about the stuff that I'm doing coming up for videos and the stuff that I don't even play on video because there's some things that I post on there where I'm like cool I found this game and I know it'll probably never be in a video for instance I just got a Nintendo DS and my 2DS and my mind is bloom I never had one as a kid I think it's freaking amazing I got it to get Luigi's Mansion so I got I also got a GameCube which will be on the channel I plan to do some GameCube videos soon because um, I never had a GameCube as a kid either, and I really wanted to play Luigi's Mansion. Um, the third one's coming out, but I do want to go through the first one because I was always interested in that game. Never had it. So alas, I will be playing Luigi's Mansion at some point soon. Uh, things with the new job are going pretty good. I busted my hump for the last few days, so it's nice. I'm going to take a break to relax uh, for today and play some American Truck Simulator with you. Uh, but the other cool thing that happened... Check this out. I can't reach it. I ordered myself Logitech G920 wheel driving force. Now, as I bump my lights, as I bump my lights to not pull my back, lifting that thing up in such a weird angle, um, I did my research. It was either that or a Thrustmaster. And there's two opinions, and both seem to be very relevant for this game. So I went with the G920 Logitech. Sue me. We're going to find out how well it works here in the future. I have, I want to build a, I think I talked about it in my last video. I want to build a custom way for me to sit at my desk right here right now. I have this, like, metal piece that's used to keep your feet up when you're at a desk. I think I can actually use that for the pedals because it comes up, it's like one of those pieces, like, I'm try to figure out how to do the angle right. You know, it's a little short here. We'll call it like that. And then it's got a long piece right there. So that way you can put your feet on it so your feet don't get tired. I think I can retrofit that to hold the pedals or at least make it to where the pedals will sit on there. That's going to be cool. But the biggest problem is I have a glass desk. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to put a wheel that's got force feedback on a glass desk. I'm pretty sure it would rip the hell out of this glass or break it or shatter it. I'm not 100% on that. I'm just worried about that. So what I want to do is build a custom uh, custom platform, and I think I might fit it into the L shape of this, because my desk is an L shape. I might fit it into this L corner, so that that way I don't have to move my camera any. We can probably picture it right about here. It'll be a little taller than normal, but uh, that might work. So I'm going to probably work on some kind of video for how I put that together for the channel. That's to go with the Game Boy videos I have planned. Uh, that I want to start working on soon. I was almost ready the other day and something came up so I didn't get to it. So those three how-tos are coming. My wheel stand how-to and I have another how-to for the chair that I'm sitting in. That's all I'm going to say on that but I'm going to get that in the future here. I'm excited I got the wheel. So I got a GameCube. We're going to have some new games. We got the wheel. That's awesome. Um, yeah and that's it and everything else is going pretty good. It's just getting time um, recently now to uh, look at what I want to do and plan for the videos that I want to make uh, so keep an eye out for those in the future obviously I got this new overlay for this screen I thought I needed something a little better than the big blown up TV uh, don't think I changed anything else literally just this one screen right here is a little more dano um, and then I set the record button up nicely so I could work on not having to mash that escape button when the uh, when the game starts um, other than that um, I'm wearing my It's a Gundam shirt from the channel It's a Gundam on YouTube. If you don't watch him, go check him out. Cool videos, cool stuff on there. I like the guy. Talks about a lot of stuff uh, related to gaming. So I like them. I got my dead hat on. 
because uh, today I'm going to wear a hat. I got a haircut, so we're good on the hair, but I am still wearing a hat while I'm playing this game because I think that's going to be a new thing I'm going to do for a while. So we're rocking dead today. If you don't know, check them out on YouTube for their music videos or Spotify for their music. And then uh, I started watching Rhythm and Flow, I believe is the name of the show because I've gotten it wrong. Rhythm and Flow on Netflix to follow this rapper that I met eight years ago at a Tech 9 concert. Flawless, real talk. If you don't know him, check him out on Spotify, on Rhythm and Flow, on Netflix, and all that fun stuff. None of this is sponsored. I'm just telling you guys what I enjoy in my personal freaking life. That's what kind of relationship we got, me and you, you and me. We just kind of talk. When I, when I play the trucking game, we do a lot of talking. Um, so let's see if we can bring up the event uh, that we started last time. We have the uh, Pink Ribbon Charity event. Um... Uh, let's see. Today is the what is today? Today's October 18th. Uh, looks like this was put out on the 8th. Uh, so far, we reached over 730,000 deliveries of pink ribbons, and there's still 12 days to go. Uh, our pink pink metric hashtag has been using more 2,200 seeds, Instagram posts, hundreds of videos. The event is far from over. I should take one of my pictures and put it on my social media. Uh, that way, I can uh, maybe get get mine into a freaking yeah. See, these look sweet. I want to get my truck into a freaking thing. Anyway, so the event's going well. Um, this has been a good thing. You can donate. I bought the uh, charity pack, I believe it is. So, um, so we already saw that in the last video. But what is cool for me is uh, I did actually. I'm gonna. Just, ooh. Let's go back real quick. I did not mean to do that. Oh, this thing's going insane. I wanted to adjust my game audio just a smidge. And when I did that, it locked that button in and then went crazy. I don't know if it's going to be too loud or not. Looks like it's picking up a little bit there. Um, I did finish the event itself uh, offline. Uh, I had to do 12 deliveries, I believe it was, uh, pink ribbon. I did do them offline. So guess what I've got? Dollar, dollar bills. That's right. I am stacked with cash. So this video, what we're going to start with is we're going to buy my second driver because I believe my garage in Phoenix has room for it. So the reason I did the, the event offline, and I don't think I noticed it during the Goodyear event, and I, think I, for, and I think I played Euro Truck for that. I don't know if I noticed it during that video, but it seemed like my truck was relegated to uh, whopping 65 miles an hour. See, we can see I'm an event completed. Um, it was 12. Okay, perfect. Um, so the uh, the thing was my vehicle wouldn't go over 65 miles an hour. And I think that's because when you're in the world of trucks, they probably govern your speed so that way it's more fair and it's more, uh, it's not like you're just hauling ass and breaking rules to get the events done. I'm okay with that. However, doing the long runs I was doing at 65 miles an hour only would be ridiculous to you guys. Oh, and as you can see, I upgraded my front bumper there. I'll just throw that out there while we're staring at it. And I painted the rear wheels. I don't remember if I did that or not in uh, one of the videos. Uh, however, uh, I didn't want to... Um, I didn't want to do the long things and make several videos of me doing long runs of, you know, charity event stuff that was going to just take forever. Uh, so that said, I do have 375000 in my company right now um, because I did 10 other runs offline and off video, and that includes all loan payments and then my other driver. As we can see, we'll go into driver management. I only have one other driver. Uh, not making very much a day compared to me. I am making burnt. Um, but we're still getting a profit because I am a workhorse. Um, garage manager, where are you at? garage manager right there uh, we can see my Phoenix garage has two out of three trucks there um, we gave that's right we did the over-the-top truck on this one um, so we're gonna give uh, we're gonna get one more truck to fill this slot and then maybe I'll upgrade the garage um, we'll see what it looks like uh, for now I just want to add that extra driver now what you could be saying to yourself is Daniel if you have so much money 
why don't you pay your loan back? In a weird way, I feel like this is like the real world. I'm like, you know what? It'll be better just to make the payments. They'll give me, it'll help my credit. I don't think it'll help my credit for anything. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna let it keep taking out. Uh, and go as it goes. But basically, uh, we've got 3456, 3456 on those two loans and a whopping 27 days out of 56 actually the interest rate is kind of high maybe i should pay one of these off let's get our third let's get our third driver hired for my company making me three and then maybe i will pay one of these off because look it's so cheap to pay those off versus uh now that i look at it after i talked all that shit about myself um i'm deciding maybe i do want to pay some of it off but i want to get a uh truck first for another driver so this episode we are starting right off the bat let's go with kenworth because that's the fleet all right now customize config our stock offers fleet so i did upgrade the engine on my truck i don't know if this one's upgraded or not it's not really going to matter um i did upgrade the engine on my truck because while i was realizing during the event that the speedometer is only going to go 85 or 65 i think i started to think that my engine could be better so i just went ahead and upgraded my engine did i need to probably not but you know uh, that's what happened so this driver in honor of the event there we go I want to throw the cool uh, boxing gloves up that are for this event itself because we're going to make this truck for the event. You've got, oh, they've got a chrome ribbon too. That's kind of cool. I want to go with the boxing gloves though uh, that I got on Steam there for the pink uh, event here. And let's go down to paints because this is going to be the the truck that runs the runs I want to do. Um, is there another option? Yeah, that seems to be the one everyone goes with. I'm not sure if I'm gelling with that one, though. I mean, it looks cool. It's a cool design. Um, you know what? I don't like how plain Jane these two are. I mean, they're cool, but I do kind of like the way this one looks right here. So let's, uh, let's go with that. Let's go with that after all. And on the wings, let's see. We can adjust the color if we want. Um, let's keep them kind of an orange, I guess. And I like the burgundy of the truck. Um, but I want to miss the mark here. Let's try to lighten it just a smidge. I think that'll be all right. Yeah, I mean, I can dig that. I can dig that. All right, uh, let's get the um, let's get the wheels, the rims colored the way I wanted to. Now, I think I remember. Uh, it wasn't progress. I think it was wasn't standard paint. Maybe it was seagull wide. Use preset. Oh, it's gonna be seagull wide paint this time. Um, go wide paint use preset I want them wheels to match that's the 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 company color is more or less the rims at this point so we've got our cool boxing gloves we've got our cool uh, truck design there that's really all I want to change I don't want to change too much I like the modern interior I think the truck is gonna be fine like that um, good for most loads it looks like let's go confirm I mean, I could dig that. Let's purchase this truck at 174. No, I don't want to drive my new truck. We are going to put that into my garage. My garage in Arizona. All right, we're going to put that to the target slot there. Please note that trucks have regular insurance already paid. Great deal. Let's leave. Do you really want to leave the dealership? Yes, I do. All right, so now we have uh, we have three trucks in our garage. Yes, three of three, but we don't have a driver. So let us go to the recruitment agency and 
Let's see what we got here in, I guess just hit hire a driver. Uh, it. Not very experienced. Let's go to recruitment agency again, see what we get this time. The same guys. I don't want to. Am I near an agency right now that's undiscovered? So what I figured out is that the agencies, the more you discover, I think the more options you have for drivers. Doesn't look like there's one where I'm at. Oh, and obviously I'm way up in Washington right now. Yeah, these look like jobs. Let's get, uh, let's just hire someone, recruitment agency. Let's see, fragile, time, time. These guys have the same skills. Um, they only want 1500 for looking for a driver so let's uh hmm, they're both they're all rated about the same 1666 these both want the same per delivery this guy wants a little bit more um but he's got a little bit more skill let's just go with old joseph here hire driver yeah you're gonna be driving the old You'll be driving the old Arizona Arizona breast cancer awareness truck. So we have 204,000 left. Let's repay this loan. Yes. Let's repay this loan. Yes. Where's my money at right now? 125 and we just hired another driver. You know what? Let's pay that off too. I don't want their interest anymore. Repay. What a way to start this episode. We are debt free. We've got an extra truck. How's how's this driver doing? Okay, she's doing pretty good on her skills. Rocking our uh, over the top sleeper and this guy's going to be balanced as well. Uh he's going to be rocking our sleeper. I have the uh let's see the truck. Let's see if we can see the differences between the trucks. Yeah, mine 600 horsepower while these two are 500 horsepower. So I did upgrade the engine, like I said, uh, and some of the things with my truck. Uh, we've got the uh, 600 horsepower, 2050 torque, and 300-gallon uh, fuel tank. This is 500, 1850 torque. How much torque did I have? 2050, okay, that's right. And uh, 220 gallons on the tank for Alicia and Mr. Joseph's trucks they are the same so I'm gonna leave their trucks with it the way they are my truck is pretty where I want it I think I might do a few more upgrades but let's get to it with the freight market let's see what we've got Ooh, what kind of load is this urgent articulated heavy high value everything I don't like no I don't like the uh, I don't like the articulate. This one starts in New Mexico, so that wouldn't do me any good because I'm not in New Mexico. This one's going to Arizona. Urgent, high value, knuckle boom loader. Kenworth trucks from Phoenix. Of course, I'm not in Phoenix. These deliveries are paying pretty good now, though. Let's do uh, an excavator. Eh, that sounds boring. Seattle, Washington to Oakland. It's an articulated trailer, though. And it's a lot less money. 
Um, 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 um. Now we're getting into Lodo. I mean, I could take empty pallets. So that's from Ehrenberg. I can't take empty pallets. Let's go back to uh, page one. I mean, this is this would be a good run. It's definitely gonna be a long shot haul. Uh, it's an all-terrain crane, but it pays one hundred and thirty-one thousand dollars. I am, I wish I could take this boat, but it starts in New Mexico and comes up here. I'd rather. I'd almost rather take this knuckle boom loader to Page, Arizona, because I don't think I've been to Page, Arizona. Let's uh. Let's see if I've been to Page because that's going to be the other thing is I want to go somewhere I haven't gone. No, I haven't been to Page, Arizona. So let's do that load. To Page, Arizona. Where are you at? Right here. Knuckle boom loader. Because it's urgent. It's high value. But it's not an articulated trailer. I can be fine with that. I can't wait to set up this wheel. I'm super stoked. Like, I'm stoked at the, for the fact I have the wheel, but I'm sad by the fact that I haven't been able to hook it up yet. I could hook it up. I have a TV tray, and I could hook it up, but it'd be way down here, and I want the wheel to be something you guys can see uh, while I'm using it. Then we get that real immersion. Let's get the radio going while we're here. On an ad, of course. Looks like I got plenty of volume. All right, let's go. I don't even remember what I'm doing here. Let's go out this way. I know I took one of the loads here, but that's all I can remember. Boy. Do. No, my truck's only at 1%, so I must have fixed it up recently. Can I go out here? I mean, it looks like I can go out here. Let's just try it. Yeah, good enough for Daniel. Hopefully my truck will go over 65 again, since now we're not on the world of trucks loads, we're on regular loads. I don't foresee there being an issue. Why do they always play the Chili Peppers on 98 KUPD? I swear, you think this radio station was owned by Anthony Kiedis. I'm messing with the game volume as well, so I'm gonna have to see if the, uh, because I noticed some of my gameplays, the audio is rather quiet. So hopefully the audio is not too loud on this one. I mean, obviously I'm still louder than the game, so that's a, that's that's the way it should be. But feels like it's picking up nicely as we s just speed to uh, over speed there. So OBS added a timer for how long I'm recording. I dig that. I'm super stoked because I've been having to watch my phone the whole time so I know when I'm hitting an hour that also means I know how much time I just wasted on getting my loans paid off and making myself brokey I took that corner a little raw now I'm speeding again I mean, she feels like she picks up nicely. That was the hard part about switching from Euro Truck. I know I mentioned it in the first few videos. Switching from Euro Truck to American Truck Simulator, the trucks, and I mean, it probably was like this in Euro Truck. Um, but the truck speed itself, getting used to the slower acceleration and the slower pull of the truck was kind of a pain in my my respective derriere. I was not, I was not feeling it. But now it feels like it's working very nicely to my advantage as I kick my only fan with my foot.
I want to know why some people get to go right on red, by the way. NPCs get to go right on red, not me. Oh, come on, turn green. Ah. Oh, there's an accident? Oh. Twenty, 25 minutes of me getting myself set up to play the game, and the first thing I'm going to do is take a picture because I saw an accident. Look at that. That is brutal. See if we can encompass my truck into this shot. Nope. So we'll just make it a cool shot all about the guy stuck cleaning this up. Oh yeah, I probably could with that now. Get that tightened up. Uh, let's manipulate that blur. Turn that down. Kick that saturation right through the roof. Can I get... I can get my truck in there. Now I feel like I had a reason to take that shot. Future thumbnail shot. So, talking about the wheel I bought. Ooh, yeah, this truck picks up nicely. Set that cruise to 35. Um, the one thing that I saw that was different in regards to wheel purchases between the Thrustmaster and the Logitech, um, the amount of buttons on the wheel itself is vastly different. Now, why did I go with the one I went with? Uh, one... I have an Xbox One. This one's for PC and Xbox One. I do have a PS4, but the majority of games I own are on Xbox One. And I do have recent games on Xbox One, like Forza and uh, Forza Horizon. And uh, I got, I think, three Need for Speeds. I picked up on a sweet sale one time. I don't know if it'll work for those. But I have a lot more racing games on the Xbox. So I figured if I was going to buy a wheel, it would make sense to buy one that I could use for not just PC gaming, but also if I wanted to do some console gaming. Um, hence also why I want to make the stand adjustable so I can sit in my chair and play on my Xbox or I can uh, play on my PC. Uh, so that's why I went with that wheel. But the button configuration, I guess PlayStation wheels might have a few extra buttons maybe um i know the thrustmaster i think in general had a few extra buttons comparatively but i don't think i'll really be too worried about my hotkeys when it comes to setting them up on the wheel for the most part with how i drive obviously i'll be handling acceleration and um braking on the uh, pedals themselves since it has pedals that only makes sense. Um, directionals would have to be mapped on there. Um, I like how they warn you that it's about to slow down and you're going to get a speeding ticket. Uh, directionals would have to be mapped on there when I'm turning left and right. I want to map my radio controls because I don't want to have to keep reaching over my keyboard if I want to change the radio stations. And it's a handy feature in my car, so why would I not have it on my racing wheel? Uh, for for American Truck Sim, why would I not have it on there? Um, so that'll be station up, station down, um, volume up, volume down for the radio. So that's four buttons right there. Directionals, I think there's paddles on the back, so the directionals will probably go to the paddles, because that just kind of makes sense. Um, I'm going to keep it with simple automatic on my shifting. So that'll save me from having to uh, account for any shifting because uh, I didn't get the shifter. I drive simple automatic right now like I am. Uh, so I don't foresee myself, three hours, 46 minutes. I don't foresee myself switching out of simple automatic. I just, I don't want it to be that in depth of a sim. Uh, I enjoy the game the way I play it now. I just want to be able to steer my truck. Um, so I'm probably gonna leave those controls alone um, 
Unless someday I decide I want to add the shifter for additional torture. Um, I think that's it. So directionals and then radio is pretty much all I need to map on there. I can't think of anything else that I have mapped or that I have, yeah, mapped on my keyboard that I would need to change uh, while mapping them. So I think the, the lack of buttons isn't going to hurt me as far as setting up my controller. Um, the other thing, and this is probably the most debated thing between the two wheels I read about, the Thrustmaster, let me see if I remember everything correctly, the Thrustmaster has a, I think, better feel, but seems to be one that has issues more frequently uh, when purchasing. It seems like people say they have more issues and some of the things about it aren't perfect. The other thing that for me was a little bit of a steer away was that the wheel may be cheap enough, you know, to get the wheel and the pedals. I think I was looking at the TMX. It's cheap enough to get it, but they recommend obviously upgrading to the better pedal design or the better, pe better pedals and the shifter, which for both would be additional. Um, but the fact that if you're telling me right off the bat, like I'm gonna get into it for enough with the wheel, but then I should upgrade to the better pedals, which is what most people seem to do, I didn't wanna make that extra purchase. The Logitech, for the most part, seems to have a good reputation um, with their wheels as far as lasting a long time. Um, I think most people are still using the G27, if I remember correctly, um, and that came out a while ago, but a lot of people are still using that wheel because it's that good of a wheel. Um, so that's kind of what swayed me more on that side of things, but both are equally stated to have as you know issues and things like that. When you're making a purchase like this, I realize that you're never going to have 100% of the answers. You kind of just got to jump in and, if you can, and see if it works for you. I think the Logitech will be a good wheel because I don't do any sim racing. That was the other issue, is that when you're reading reviews for these wheels, a lot of people are doing like hardcore sim racing, and their opinions are based on if you're doing hardcore sim racing, which is fine nothing wrong with that the only issue is if you're playing truck driver it's totally a different totally different world I know I don't need something to be you know super responsive I don't need it to be you know every minute detail um, I'm not trying to do you know indie racing or stock car or um, you know fancy sport car racing at all I'm doing I'm driving a truck and in, in what I want to use the wheel for I probably could have went with a cheaper wheel that would have done the job job just fine but I wanted a nice wheel and hopefully I only have to buy one of them so I went with the 920 we will see how it goes I was thinking of doing a video obviously on the stand that I want to build but maybe even a video of uh, how I'm setting up my hotkeys for my wheel for my experience um, just to kind of add something else to the channel or just wheel setup in general in 2019 I mean I think this wheel came out in 2015 it doesn't seem and I didn't realize this or know this but it doesn't seem like they make wheels all that often and I'm guessing it's just because they do the best they can or with what they want to do and then they wait a while for technology to improve or change or you know maybe because it's such a high dollar purchase that most people don't buy a new wheel like every year it's not like um, not like a console controller where maybe you want to update or it's getting a lot of wear and tear I, I have a feeling that maybe these wheels you know stand the test of time as they are it's just what features you want. Now I do know the range on mine is I think a little less than the range for the Thrustmaster as far as rotational. I don't I think it's nine I want to say 980 or something like that but I think the Thrustmaster will do like a 1080 rotation. Are you really at two hours? You are at two hours. Um, 
You know what's gonna happen? I'll probably take a nap before I go pick up this load wherever we're going. How much further do we gotta go? Okay, we're almost there. I'll probably take a nap and reset my clock and then the load will be gone. We'll see when we get there. Maybe I'll take a shorter load since I'm already at 35 minutes. That's right, this clock is coming in handy already. Um, the rotational difference, I don't think that's gonna affect me so much either for truck driving. Um, again, if I was really into sim racing and really particular about what I needed in wheel movement, um, I probably might have went more on the Thrustmaster side. But the other thing is, is that if we're being realistic and if you've looked into wheels, uh, the one thing I've gathered and noticed is that Fanatec is the way to go uh, for like your real, I mean, it's a pricey wheel, but that's where you really want to put your money uh, is in some of those high dollar wheels like that. If you're into sim racing and things like that, I know a lot of people seem to say those are the ones you want but like i said i'm just gonna be driving a truck i'm just gonna be cruising along the highway delivering loads i'm glad i can bypass that way station game i don't even have a load on me so thank you thank you for your permission um so yeah i just don't see the purpose <sighs> quit yawning i'm drinking a monster quit yawning i just don't see the purpose in going high high dollar wheel at this stage But who knows? If I get if I get to a point where I really like maybe racing and mess around with it, um, maybe I will pick up a a more pricier wheel and and go for a more I don't want to say mature, but a more refined setup in the future. But for now, I think this wheel is going to work perfect for what I want it for and perfect for me to practice my truck driving skills in American Truck Simulator. It looks like I have a rest stop coming up here. Uh, Shazbot, I'll take this lane. Did I choose correctly? It looks like I did. Yeah, it kinda looks like I did. Man, time flies when you're having fun. He's already down to almost an hour before he's got to sleep. I'm just hauling ass. There's a spot right there that I'm going to rest at. Although those question marks are making me curious about what's over there. You know what? We're in Seattle, right? So let's go let's go cruise over this way. Let's see what's over here. I wish I had enough for Another upgrade to my garage. I guess maybe I'll... Well, if this load pays enough, maybe I'll be able to. Why is that trailer... Some broken trailers. Look like some car wrecked trailers there. Sleep at the old Kenworth dealer. How about that? Where's their sleeping area, though? I guess it's over here. Oh, park king. Park king. Why I said it like that, no clue. Yeah, I want to level up some more before I do another engine upgrade to my truck. I'm at level 20 now, in case you guys didn't notice that. Uh, I'm at... 20 now so and my engine yeah it's only got one percent or my trucks only got one percent damage so we'll leave that alone for now um but i want to get some more levels under me before i upgrade the engine again because i don't think i need it at this point so we'll get some more mileage under my under my boot heels I think I can map the wipers to my control. Now I'm trying to think of all the extra stuff I'm using like right now. I think I'll be able to map the wipers because I think it has the bumper buttons for the Xbox. I think it has those buttons on there as well. So I should be able to map my wipers. I think that's all in the horn. I'll try to map my horn.
Oh, is that an agency? Look at that. Show me my road again. I was... I'm going off the beaten path. Show me my road again. I should have picked up a load from the Kenworth dealer, but that probably would have been an articulated trailer. I mean, it looks like there's plenty of places to get loads at from around here. There's coastline mining. Uh, there's something else over there. There's me speeding through a stoplight. Oh, and then totally hitting the brake. Get through it before it turns. All right, all right. I got through it before it turned. That was almost bad. Maybe I will end up taking a short load. Just for time's sake. Oh, I made it through that one before it turned, too. Let's see what loads these guys have to offer. Because, um... Because I'm already... Yeah, we're already 40 minutes in. King King Time Waster. Unless they have it already marked. Oh, no, it's back there. Okay. I will say unless they already have it marked. This is one hell of a way to drive through here. Yeah, maybe I'll do a short run, and then the next video I'll do a longer one. I did take a lot of time in the intro. The intro phase. And since this load's urgent, I might not be able to do it in the time needed. I didn't even look if there was a train coming. Oop. All right, let's see what the freight market has. If it's only one job, then I guess that's it. Oh, okay, so it's still there. Um, furniture. Man, it drops from 100 down to freaking 31 and then down to... Oh, that's a really short run. That's why. I still wanted to go to Page, Arizona, though. Offer expires in five minutes. Expected Friday. What is it, Tuesday? Eh. Let's run it. Let's run it. I want to do this load. All right, where do I pick up this bad boy? From the other side? Oh, it's an oversized Hummer. We knew it. Softly get in this one. Oof. Got the classic Alice in Chains on. And I say classic because it's the Lane Staley Alice in Chains, which I believe I've mentioned before is my that's my Alice in Chains. Lane Staley Alice in Chains. Not not whoever the new guy is. No disrespect, but just not not big on you. Lane's Lane's my dude. Get this Hummer out of here. That's a long trailer. Decorated like a grand. Um, what? The hell? I'm going to get hung up if I'm not already hung up. I think I just hung it up. Yep. I got an idea. I got a million dollar idea. Let's pull out, swing wide, and then we'll cut back over. Let's pull out right here. Swing way wide. Way wide. There we go. Oh, now the arrow's going this way. Well, the other arrow wasn't looking like that. Whatever. 
All right, so it's Tuesday at 10. We got a fresh clock. We're supposed to be there by Friday. Let's get this bad boy rolling. Let's start this uh, epic journey of how much can I hit for how badly can I plan my turns. I think once I get rolling on the highway, I should be all right. It's going to be these little side streets that are going to be killer. But I'm just going to have to swing kind of kind of wide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Looking nice. Didn't even pop the curb there. All right. Let's get that sucker up to speed. Yeah. So I can't believe I did that. Like I said, I was playing and I upgraded my engine thinking it was just garbage. But lo and behold, my engine's great. And even greater now. I want to get the, the top engine for my truck once I get leveled up some. Yeah, we're doing like 60 like it ain't nothing. Yeah, buddy. Only thing I'm worried about with the uh, steering wheel, I'm so all over the place sometimes. Apologize, but thanks for watching. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is camera. I'm gonna have to maybe check out some other videos on how people do their camera. I don't know if they lock them in. I'm glad I can bypass that. I don't know if they lock them in or what. To, to be fixed in the position they set or if they make adjustments with their mouse still. I think I'm gonna have to do it with my mouse. Um, and I think I did see one person had the paddles marked as look left and look right. So I might, might be able to set something up like that too. I'm not sure how I wanna do that. I think with me not having the shifter and if I'm going to custom build a stand, maybe I could put a little pad where you would put your shifter and maybe I can use that as just a mouse pad spot. But then again, if the wheel's all the way up here, I mean my mouse will be right here. I might be turned slightly sideways, but I'm sure you guys will be okay with that. I'll get a cool steering wheel cover. Not as cool as the one that's probably on the truck right there, but get a steering wheel cover. I don't know if they make steering wheel covers for... for I mean, I'm sure they would. You just got to find the right size wheel cover, I guess. I think it's 11 inches. Not sure. Not sure on the specs of the wheel I ordered other than I know it, it'll do what I need it to do. Pretty sure it'll do what I need it to do. It's a wheel. I'll be able to turn it. It's all we needed. It's all we need when it comes to wheels. It seems like my truck's doing just fine. I want to get down, that's the other reason I guess to go to Arizona, I want to get down to where the speed limit might be like 65, 70 or even 75 so I can make sure that my truck is still good. Like I said, I think it's in the world of trucks contracts that they're governed like that, which makes sense. But let me tell you, let me tell you folks, doing the world of trucks contracts at 65 miles an hour near Arizona where you can go 75 on the freeway because the trucks are governed was ridiculous. I know now what truck drivers have to go through if they have a governed truck. If you're an owner op, you don't have to worry about that. But if you're in a company truck, a lot of times they govern it. Oh boy. I can remember back in the day. Wow, it's lighter on your guys' screen than it is on mine. I need to adjust my screen. Um, I can remember back when I was younger, the uh, Swift trucks, I think they were all governed at like 55 miles an hour. And 
as a kid, I obviously didn't get the frustration of being stuck behind one. But now I know as an adult what that's like. I think they've uh, I think they've increased their govern speed. I think they can do like 65 now, which is what they should be able to do. Most of the states, I've even noticed in this game, on the West Coast, most of the states um, hang around 60, like that sign said, to 65. There's only probably a few states. Like I know California, I think, is 60 and 65 throughout the whole thing, uh, just from real world experience too. Um, Nevada, I'm trying to remember. I think when I drove through there, there were some 75 zones. Um, Northern California, I think, had some 65 and 70 zones, if I'm not mistaken. But that was northern, like way away from central or south California or where, you know, like LA and stuff's at. Um, what else? Washington, I've never been to Washington, so I, I would assume what they have in here is accurate to 60 and 70, it looks like. Oregon, I believe, was 60 ish for the parts I was in. Um, but Arizona has. The 10, which you can do 75 once you're out of Phoenix for the most part, pretty much. Um, 65, 75. And then um, there's other stretches of road that are outside the city where it's 65, 75 area. No, no 80 that I recall in Arizona. I think 75 is our max, if I recall right. So it's kind of hard getting stuck at 65 when you're looking at the speed limit is 75 and you can't do any more and of course in here it's not like in real life where you know there might be some consequences to that um, obviously in the game it's just more of a tedious thing that you can't go any higher than that so doing the long contracts like I did to get that much money um, I thought would have made for just as equally of a boring video as this one might be or some of these might be when I'm going on these long trips. Um, that'd be interesting to see the drawbridge go up. Not while I'm on it, but that would be interesting. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that they, they govern them, but it just it, for videos and the, and besides it was 10 loads. I mean, if I did that, that would essentially be maybe 10 videos of me driving the one type of load the whole time trying to complete complete that contract and the nice thing was is and I think I said it during the Goodyear um, event too which I just these are the first this is the first year I really started participating in these events because I didn't know about them and I just started playing this last year but um, the events themselves are kind of cool because you can almost get a load that's lengthy and pays you a decent amount or you can get a short load if you want it um, but they all count towards your load total. So if you if you do if you have to do 12 loads like that one was, you could probably do eight short loads that only pay you about six grand. And because I think we ended up doing one on one of the videos. If not, I know we saw one. You could do that many loads all for the for the trip itself. But why not make the money if you're if you're gonna be cruising? And you got the time why not do a longer load so you can make money and that's what I did I mean they paid pretty decently I know I've leveled up a couple levels since then too so I'm sure that's helped the uh, increase the cost because I think I increased the cost of my just-in-time and my high-value loads um, but why not why not make the money why not earn big so you can get your company out of debt like I just did at the start of this episode and bought a truck and got a driver hired. That's what I'm talking about. Making the real dough. Cause like I've said, if the wheels ain't spinning, I'm not making any money. These wheels were a spinning. But the nice thing was doing it off video, I was able to just mash out all the loads. I think it took me three days total, um, just doing some of the lengthier runs. Uh, Cause you know I do, you know, two or three loads in a day, and then kind of take a break and get into some other projects and stuff. So doing that made the bucks.
It's a really long text that I can't directly reply to just this moment. As I've always said, no texting and driving. Uh, I guess I'm staying south side. I need to be in a lane here. Let's get this lane. That looks really cool over there. Bridge at nighttime over there. That looks really cool. I looked over there like I was going to see it better. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks really cool. All right. South Salem, I guess we're going. Not to Astoria. And of course, the cool thing for me is I brag about the wheel. I talk so much about getting the wheel in so many videos. I feel like now I have to brag about the wheel, but the wheel's not even set up yet. But the cool thing is um, there's some expansions coming out for American Truck and Euro Truck Simulator. So I am looking forward to those as well and getting to try out my wheel, not only in American Truck Simulator, as of course I will, um, but Euro Truck Simulator uh, when we when we're able to go to Romania The uh, home country of my girlfriend It'll be uh, It'll actually be cool. I think getting into Euro Truck with the wheel. I Still won't understand half of the signs and I'm probably will be breaking a few speeding laws and whatever what have you, but It'll be cool uh, getting to kick around the European countryside with a driving wheel. And the chair thing I hinted at, I got an idea. I got an idea, I got a plan. I wanna see it come to fruition and we'll see how it goes. And if that comes together, there'll be a video on that too. Cause it's gonna be homemade. That's right, I'm getting arts and crafty on this channel now. It's tempting to, uh, and I'm thinking about it, changing my channel. I changed it recently, because for the longest time I couldn't, ha I had to have a first and a last name. So I just had my regular first and last name because Google took over and couldn't just have Dano84. But. I changed it to Dano84 Gaming when I post on comments and such. I'm thinking about changing it to maybe N more. We'll see. Because of the how-to videos I want to do that are planned. It's going to be a quite a bit of little things on this channel. I want to do projects like that though going forward. Not just gaming videos. I mean I like my gaming videos. Don't get me wrong. And the few of you that watch them whether it's for a certain game or whether you're watching all of them. I appreciate you. Always. I appreciate you. But I want to do some extras too. Stuff that's related to gaming. Or my gaming at least. That's why I wanted to do the Game Boy videos. Let's kick this beast up to 60. That's why I wanted to do the Game Boy videos. That's why I wanted to do the, um, the steering wheel video. Or videos depending on if I get two of those out. And, uh, and stuff like that. I want to make stuff that will be entertaining that you guys can enjoy and uh, go from there. Eventually maybe I'll get a green screen and then I won't get to brag about my posters and stuff in the back. I'll be, I'll be disappearing in the background. Whoops. Ooh. He said as he threw his parking brake in. The good news is I had to slow down anyways. The bad news is I didn't want to just slam my parking brake on like that. All right, slow down, slow down, slow down. This is what I got to practice for that I haven't probably put in the, the most diligence for yet is, uh, is making the turns correctly by slowing down properly. I know I haven't done that right to save my life. I know I haven't done that right. 
because I've taken some corners going quite fast. And I have a feeling with the wheel, it's going to be a lot harder to just take those corners. I mean, I'll probably still be able to do it, but it's going to be a lot harder, harder to uh, rip through those corners going well over what I should be going. And the fact that I'll be controlling the speed with my feet, just like a car, means I'm definitely going to have to pay attention a little better. This thing kicks up nicely to 45, at least. I don't know if I started doing this in the last video. I might not have. But during the uh, night scenes, I'm trying to also drive without my high beams on the whole time like a noob to get that realistic kind of vibe. It looks lighter on your guys' screen. It's definitely darker on mine. I'm going to have to look at um, maybe lightening up my shot a bit. But the other thing is I got all these lights on on mine, and you guys are watching the raw feed. Um, I've been trying to drive just by the uh, low beam light. Yeah, it does look a lot lighter on your guys' screen. Because that's reflected more on the real way you would drive. Not with your high beams on, blinding everybody. I know I've said I don't care. But deep down, deep, deep down somewhere in me, there's that little bit of a perfectionist that wants to just do it the right way. But yeah, I can look at your guys' video and it's definitely a lot clearer. So most people are probably questioning why I even had my high beams on. Because I can see the whole road on your guys'. Slightly less on mine. I'm striving for some accurate, some sense of accuracy. I'm sure I'll get there. As I roll over the side of the road. So I read with the, uh, well I read, I saw one of the times I was starting up the game with the Windows game controls or whatever, you can actually play your Spotify on uh, in-game. I don't know if I want to do that or not. I mean, I like my music on my Spotify, but I feel like that would be cheating. And since I made a video on how to make the radio stations in the game, I feel like that'd be betraying my own idea of what would be cool for your game. I don't know though. I don't know, chaps. I suppose I'll leave it as it is. So we can listen to the radio stations. Although I found when I was doing these videos offline, or off video I should say, uh, I found that I gravitated more towards the hip-hop station because they were at least playing stuff I liked more often. Some of these rock stations, I don't know sometimes. I kind of like going back listening to the old school hip-hop. Back when music was good. Back when I was listening to hip-hop all the time, transitioning into rock. I could do reaction videos on my channel, but they would all be the same. I'd be like, Dano reacts to new music. Blah. Dano reacts to old school music. Yeah. This is what I like. I don't know what's on, but let's change it. I could never run a reaction channel. I don't think, uh, I've seen some, and no diss to anybody that runs a reaction channel, because there's some I watch on occasion. But I don't think I could just react to stuff all the time. I could make comments on it. 
I used to do that in older videos. Where I was reading news headlines and just by the headlines themselves. Which these days, even that video, I can watch those videos. I have them on my channel somewhere. I think they're in the Dano projects. Dano random projects. Um, I don't even know if I could read the headlines and, and find anything funny because they're so out there. Some of the stuff is just out there. You can't even make it up. And then you read it and you're just like, really? This is news? This is what you deem worthy of the title news? And then it starts to make you wonder, like, where are your sources? What are you? Where's your research on all this? Where's your? Where's the credibility of any of this? So I don't know if I could do like I used to do. I used to make fun of. Um, my big thing was making fun of. I had three three sections. I uh, did some stuff from the dating site when I was dating around, trying to do the plenty of fish thing. Um, I made fun of some of the people's stuff on there, or stories I heard. I did, I did fairly, let's say, I did fairly uh, cover some sides of it. Some of the stuff that guys were saying to chicks and stuff, to, I just like, wow, people talk like that? Like, that's just not even appropriate. I did cover that, and then I covered Yahoo news stories. I used to just read the front page of Yahoo and look through some of the news stories and kind of clip the headlines that were... We're just like, wow, that's news, or what's that all about? And then I also covered the stuff that people posted on Facebook that could be misconstrued. So even me just saying all of that right now, I realize, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that anymore because dating sites or people on dating sites is just, who knows what the heck's going on there anymore. Like everybody's just off their rocker in their own way. Like the whole world is in a weird place. You go to, uh, I've ne I have not looked at Yahoo News in forever. I think they still put st stories out, of course. Um, you, uh, you look through the news headlines, though, and stuff that's trending and can't even, can't even begin to understand the logic in some of that stuff. And then, um... Facebook yeah that one by the I did five of those types of videos and by the fifth video everybody on my friends list I think savvied the burrow as they say and uh, stopped posting questionable things that could be misconstrued so I don't know if it's either because I kept making videos about them or if that's just the way Facebook went I think Facebook went the way of the dodo um, Hey, officer, I need you to speed up. I'm going to go to this other lane. Oh, I don't even have to. All right. Just kidding, officer. You do you. Um, and that was about the time I stopped really using Facebook anyways. was around that time because people stopped posting things that actually were about their own lives. And they started posting just memes and... And just stupid, those e-cards. I even joked about them on one of the videos I did. But those stupid e-cards that were like old-timey looking and people would just say some of the weirdest shit on them. Like, that's what Facebook became. And I just was like, well, this is garbage. This is trash. Like, this is not, this is not what it was supposed to be. I almost went right into them. This is not what it was supposed to be. It used to be a place where people would tell you, you know, what they were doing or whatever, which now, if you think about it, it's kind of weird anyways, but it just kind of lost its purpose for me. Like, I used to post pictures of me going to concerts. Um, so I used to take a lot of pictures and videos. There's still some on my channel. I got rid of a lot of them because I'm trying to fix my channel to just be gaming stuff and obviously my own content, not other people's concerts. Um, but I used to post my concert pictures that I would take and then I would post lyrics to songs when I was writing lyrics and stuff and kind of just to see what people think of them or you know if, I always figured if they helped somebody or somebody read it it made sense to them and just like music in general you know if I posted something and it made sense or it made them feel a certain way or realize hey he feels like I do you know that's kind of why I posted it but after a while, when it just became memes and, and nothing really of value, I pretty much stopped using Facebook. I think the most recent Facebook usage was 
I think it's two years ago now when I built my PC that I'm gaming on right now. Um, ooh, I hit engine off instead of accelerate. Amateur. Um, I think that was the most use I got out of Facebook recently in the last two years because I was on a uh, I had a lot of Funko Pops. I still do, but I sold a lot of them because I needed money to build a PC and I didn't have any money to build a PC right out from the job I was working. So I decided to sell a lot of my Funko Pops that I had collected. I had some Comic-Con exclusives and things like that that had gone up really in value. Um, so I bid them farewell because if you want to buy something, sometimes you gotta pick and choose what's more important. So I sold off some of my cool Funko Pops that I was surprised literally at how much they're worth. I mean, one of them was worth 500 bucks. Um, so I sold them all off and basically was able to pay for my computer. So that was a positive for sure, but that was really the only reason I used Facebook recently. And that was two years ago. Since then, I kind of went back off of it. I don't post there anymore. and. I rarely even check it. I just don't, I don't see the point anymore. And I think after, it's been a year and a half, I think, since the congressional, congressional, I meant to say Congress, so that's why we got that weird word out there. Uh, I think since the congressional hearing with old alien Zuckerberg there talking about Facebook and privacy and how they pretty much didn't know anything I think I pretty much checked out just because I don't I don't want to give them any more data than they already haven't already taken from me over the years I realized how much stuff I put out there that was like eh, it's probably not necessary because I tried to avoid personal personal stuff but I also just don't want my information just floating out there for them to sell to third parties and to get rich off of my uh, info for their targeted ads and stuff. And I think today in our society, it's kind of inevitable. I mean, almost anything we do is probably tracking us and telling us what we're doing. I mean, honestly, there's probably some Google bot at work looking at my YouTube channel like, hey, this guy plays video games. And that's how you guys might find some of my videos is the fact that Somebody else who watches video game videos watch my videos. So now it's a recommended for you to watch one of my videos. And so for some things like that, okay, it's great. Personal life details? No. Nope. I'm good. When they were when it came out, Facebook was listening to you and and I've heard I've had friends tell me that and it's weird and coworkers, but they'll be talking about something near their phone and uh and all of a sudden Facebook was recommending it in their ads all the time like you'd mention cat food and you don't even have a cat but you just talk about cats or cat food or something like that and uh, the next day they'd be seeing cat food advertisements in their Facebook feed so yeah I'm good I'm good it already still trips me out because I'll be looking at uh, so with my new job I've been having to look at Home Depot's website a lot and this is partly Google's doing its thing for its tracking thing but I've been looking at Home Depot a lot for tools and supplies and things like that now when I check my Facebook because like I said I do occasionally bring it up now when I check my Facebook guess what ads I see in the uh, in the space between posts damn right it's Home Depot apparently because they know I've been looking at it on my phone and the same goes true for Instagram Right there in the uh, in the middle of your feed as you're scrolling past the people you actually follow and the sponsored posts that are everywhere now, you can see uh, Home Depot in my feed. Like I'm not gonna, if I'm gonna make a purchase at Home Depot, yeah, that's right, slow back down, dude. If I'm gonna make a purchase at Home Depot, I guarantee you I'm not going to follow Home Depot on Instagram just to see when they're talking about their sales on wood or tools or parts or whatever. You know, I'm not not going to follow their page. I'm sure there are people that do follow pages like that because obviously there's a need for it, I'm sure. 
Not me though. So it sucks and it's kind of ridiculous that just from looking at Home Depot a few times on Google search and trying to look at prices and stuff that now Home Depot's everywhere on my social media. I won't forget about the tons of ads that are in this, uh, that are on these radio stations for 181, by the way, that are for Home Depot. Just like Subway and uh, I think there's a firehouse subs and then there's the self-auto driving cars. We've heard them all because I've, I've pointed them out, I think, every time I play this game, which ads are on. Um, and I heard an anti-vape one, I think, earlier. Or anti-nicotine one. Well, I don't, I don't know what it was. I couldn't barely hear it. But it's just kind of ridiculous. I miss the good old days. This can make me sound old and where I've earned my gray hairs, I guess. But I miss the good old days of advertising and things like that. And like social media, when you had it, was just about being social. Not anymore. I wrote a whole college I think in both times I was in college I think I wrote something about social media impacting the ability of people to actually be social properly and I think I even had a video I might have hit it uh, on here but I think I even had a video project that I had to do where I discussed people's uh, inability to properly communicate anymore due to social medias and textings influence on all of our lives. It's just kind of ridiculous. I'm kind of over it. I liked it when it was good for catching up with people. <coughs> I liked it when you probably used your Facebook to see what was happening with, I don't know, Aunt Beth. Maybe you don't talk to your Aunt Beth if you have one, or your Uncle Mike. Everybody's got an Uncle Mike, so Maybe you wanted to see what your family was up to, but you didn't always have the time to call them or something. And you'd be like, oh, look, Aunt Beth got a new cat. Cool. Put a like on that. Move on. Next time you see her, you might talk about that new cat. I liked it kind of when that was the, the to-do on Facebook and all these places. Not anymore. Now it's advertising. I seen uh, Instagram, even though I still use that one, go from, why didn't the speed limit change? I passed the 35, I'm not gonna complain. I passed the 35 sign, but it's still showing 45. There's a 35 sign. Yeah, that one, that one got it. Um, Instagram went from just pictures to pictures slash, now there's advertisements everywhere and sponsored posts. and. It's like they're trying to push you to follow somebody based on your interests, which not really a bad thing in some senses, but it gets old, man. It gets old getting told what I should be watching or paying attention to. or And when you think about it, you start to realize how much influence 65, oh, hogwash. When you think about it, you start to realize how much influence these sites actually have on... Oh, I knew I cut that too tight as soon as I started halfway into it. I forgot how long this trailer is. Um, you start realizing how much influence these sites have on people. And it's kind of a big responsibility. In my opinion, it's a big responsibility. I don't think... I don't think anybody knows how to properly handle that yet either. I mean, it's kind of like loot boxes, you know. They're everywhere in every game. And there's the money, the money to be made from them and the people that make the money don't see it as gambling because, of course, then they wouldn't be able to do it. Or they wouldn't be able to market it towards kids, like uh, NBA Live, I think it's NBA Live 2K20 or whatever. You wouldn't be able to market it towards kids and get kids, you know, going on this whole gambling thing if you had to admit that it was gambling. Why'd you just cut me off, jerk? I saw the speed limit increase. I'm going to pull up and go in front of you. Um, 
But in the same token, oh, I gotta watch this corner so I don't nab this guy too. I already lost 900 bucks. Um, but at the same token, you know, there's people that have to realize that's what it is. It's gambling. It's it's teaching you to be excited and wasting money. And I've I've spent my fair share in free to play games when I had more money. I think uh, I didn't even my crew set. I think the the first one I can think of that really started for me was Simpsons Tapped Out, and I put in. I put in a bit of money. If it's a free to play game, I kind of have a rule. I think this day and age, everybody kind of ha should have a small threshold and they go, you know what, if it's free, but I put some money towards it because I enjoy it, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. If you play Fortnite, for instance, and this will be a true example for me too, but if you play Fortnite and you buy a season pass, even if it's just one, for 10 bucks, you're getting a free game. You're getting free content for that 10 bucks. It's like, and no biggie. And they and they actually have a decent season pass when they do. Because, the, well, last season pass I played was six. And now they did the whole wipe the world and start over. That I don't even know what's going on with that. But if you pay 10 bucks and you enjoy yourself playing that game, who cares? It's 10 bucks. Like, try getting, you know... That much enjoyment sometimes out of a $60 game these days. Not not easy. So more power to you for 10 bucks, 20 bucks, even if you go all the way up to 60 bucks. Because most console games are 60 bucks, brand new, AAA developer, 60 bucks. If you put in even 60 bucks or you play six seasons of Fortnite, we'll say, and you don't buy any extra costumes, which I did buy some extra skins too, so we won't go there. But if you get a little bit of enjoyment out of it and you're just putting a little bit of change here and there when you got it, and that's the key too, when you got it to spend and you're not worried about it, who cares? Do you. Enjoy the game. Developers that make good, t good content should be supported. And if Fortnite's your jam, support them a bit. You don't have to go broke doing it like some people do, and that's where it gets out of control. But like I said, all things considered, if a developer's making a game you like and you want to support them and it's free to play, do your thing. So Simpsons tapped out. Played that game for probably, since its release, I think I played it for four years straight or five years straight. That's five Halloweens, five Christmases, five Thanksgivings. And the Halloweens were always my favorite because I always liked the Treehouse of Horror series on The Simpsons. Even though The Simpsons is just a shell of what it used to be, Probably after season 13, uh, maybe even 15, and that's being generous because I know I stopped watching it around then because I, not because I didn't want to, because I grew up and didn't have TV always available as far as cable and or even just an antenna. But I stopped watching it and then I watched it recently catching up in the seasons. I think, I mean, up to season 20 might be a stretch, but they weren't horrible. But I could see where they started to change a bit around 15, 16, 17, and so on. Um, oh, I could be doing 65. Why am I sitting at 60? So I loved the Simpsons game. I, I put some money to it, to be fair. But there was a day when I woke up, and this is just more of like a, an allegory or whatever. But I woke up and was like, why am I paying money for some of this stuff when it's not like I get anything out of it? Like, I actually had that realization that here I am maybe buying some of these donuts because that's their currency that you buy. You buy donuts to get some of the premium stuff. You can bypass the nearby way station. Thank you. Um, why am I buying these donuts when I'm not getting anything in return? Like, I'm not... It's not like they're gonna send me a paper copy of my town that I built, my Springfield. It's not like they're going to give me any kind of physical anything that is worth the money that I am spending, you know, if it's 10 bucks or 20 bucks here and there. It's, I'm not getting anything for it. I am literally, holy crap, I just blew through a stop sign. I wasn't sure where that was at. We're on an adventure. Um, I'm not getting anything tangible 
for my investment. And when you start to realize that, it kind of makes you see a little bit better the, the content that you're putting money towards. And like I said, you can buy a $60 game, for instance. Snow zone. I wish there was snow. You can buy a $60 game, for instance, and you're not going to get anything tangible either other than the $60 game, assuming you didn't buy it digital. If you bought it digital, then you, you get nothing, but you're still getting the same game you'd buy if you got it digital. You just don't have to worry about your shelf space like I do. I like to buy digital still, or I like to buy physical still. But you really aren't getting anything with the free-to-play games. And I supported the game for a while, and then I just finally stopped checking in. Because the thing is, is that at first, and it's... The Simpsons tapped out was through uh, EA and Origin. I think it started through Origin, which is still, I think, always EA. But um, slowly it started to get more and more difficult to complete your daily challenges and stuff like that without spending money. And I started to see that swipe up too. I was like, well, I've already figured out I'm not getting anything physical out of this game. And I started to refuse to buy anything premium. And then I realized, well, they're just nickel and diamond now, so I'm out. I stopped playing it. I started playing the Family Guy game, which was basically the same premise, just Family Guy instead of um, Simpsons. And I liked some of the stuff they had in there, but that ended up being the same thing too, where I'm like, wow, you really have to, they're making it to where you gotta pay to win. Like you gotta pay money almost without a doubt to get some of these events finished or to get some of these items unlocked. I'm out. Um, and I just don't, I don't see why people aren't focusing on that as an issue or pay attention to it like they should when it comes to younger kids and younger gamers that are getting swindled and using their parents money and credit cards and stuff to buy all this junk you know you can you can google it you can search the news articles there's been people that have racked up thousands of dollars I'll say there's been kids Ooh, final destination right in front of me here there's been kids that have racked up thousands of dollars on their parents' debit cards or credit cards, which I don't know why you'd leave your credit or debit card available on any device that's going to be handled by a child. Maybe poor parenting, in my opinion, aside. I don't have a kid, so I can't speak to that. I'll just say I don't think that's a wise idea. Um, but it still happens. And maybe their parents knew about it because their kids are like, can I get this pack? It's only $1.99. They just say, yeah, and then maybe they get tired of putting in their card info or whatever. Oh, I'm in Nevada now. All right, moving right along. Um, I can't say why or how it happens. That's not for me. I, like I said, I don't have a kid, so I can only talk so much on it before somebody would be like, well, you don't know what it's like. You don't have a kid. I don't. I'm going to go ahead and take a nap. Um, I don't have a kid, so I won't pretend to know how all that works at all. Oh, this is going to suck to get out of here. Oh, there's a whole wide... Oh, no, you know what? I'll take that side street right there. So I won't pretend to know the ins and outs of parenthood when it comes to that at all. So let's just get that out there right now. However, the games themselves aren't being fairly posted to parents or, or maybe they aren't being made aware of what their kids are getting into when it comes to this stuff and I think it's ridiculous and it's only gotten worse and worse and worse as time goes on and like I said I don't even have kids I'm a gamer and I see a problem with it so I don't know what everyone's doing about it but it's kind of ridiculous almost as ridiculous as me gonna make this turn hey officer give me a sec I'm coming out I got a huge wide load I don't want to hit you. There we go. Perfect. Bueno. I haven't even looked at this thing yet. Let's see what it looks like on my truck. Oh, that's a great shot. If only the sun was showing my truck. There we go. Look at that. Nevada. Don't ask me why I love the desert other than because I live here. Because... 
these desert shots to me sometimes look better than some of the other shots in like probably what most people consider more beautiful country countryside um back to loot boxes i just don't see why it's not being addressed or why it's allowed to go the way it does as a gamer it's annoying because there's adults that lose a crap ton of money on these games too because the, they feed into the same mentality that gambling addicts have and that's that desire to win and that I, I want to say pro, proclivity but it's that it's that addictive nature that some people have and it plays right into it and I don't think it's fair and I and the biggest thing is a gamer is it's giving us crappier games I think I talked a little bit about DLC for instance uh, with this game perfect example um, it may be pricey for you to buy the DLC when it comes out but just wait for it to go on, wait for it to go on sale I do Sometimes. I mean, there's some stuff I'll buy right off the bat and some stuff I wait for it to go on sale. There's no shame in that. I mean, if you if you like this game and you play this game and you want to pay 12, 14 bucks, or whatever it is, for the DLC pack that they add, do it. I mean, they're giving you a new playground, basically. They're giving you more area to drive on, which is cool. Oh, yeah, this truck's not limited anymore. Thank goodness. Um, they're giving you a new playground. They're giving you more places to go and drive and see and they're putting in the work and they're putting in the detail I think last video I even talked about they're in The the states here because I think the developers are overseas anyways um, if I'm not mistaken, but they're over here recording the sounds of trucks and things like that to make it more realistic I mean they're putting in work into this game and this game is came out in 16 and they're still making it fresh and they're giving us new maps like I said Utah I think is the next one in in um, American truck this is a dangerous move uh, Utah is the next map in American truck sim if I remember correctly and the road to the Baltic Sea I think is the new one for Euro truck and that's gonna be uh, that part of Europe that goes through Romania and I think Lithuania or Lithuania might be already out I'm so bad with this good thing it's not sponsored content because I'd be I'd have to be on my a game uh, but they're giving you the content and the map to drive through these places so you're not paying for nothing but if it's too much don't buy it the the paint packs there's mods people make they, they allow modding so there's free mods that give you like my over-the-top paint job or my Futurama paint job that I got. All the paint jobs we've looked at. Um, yeah, I've bought some of the paint job packs, but I bought them on sale. They go on sale, you know. You get them for 25, 50% off. You don't want to pay $2.99 for a couple paint jobs? Pay $1.49 when they go on sale. Or whatever the price is when they go on sale. Or go to the mods and get... Look at somebody who's made the paint that's similar to the one you want. Or figure out how to mod and do it yourself. You know? But the the content, it's content for a game that's already four, five years old. I think Euro Truck's older than this one. This one came out in 16, like I said, I think. And I think Euro Truck came out in 13. That's six years ago. And people still play it. I still get people watching my videos. And I'm a new gamer to this game. And that's the other thing I'm new to this game and I enjoy it and I get people watching my videos for your truck sim too so it's like pay for that kind of content if that's what you want but the loot boxes in AAA games where you're paying and that's the thing too this game you can buy it pretty cheap when it goes on sale American truck and Euro truck it's one of the the simulation games seem to go on sale I don't want to say regularly, but they go on decent sales pretty often to where if you really wanted to play a simulating game, you can just wait for it to go on sale. And if you wait like I did, I mean, I, I just didn't know about it and didn't look into it. But I think when I got Euro Truck, I was able to get Euro Truck and a couple of the DLC packs in a bundle for a good sale price. And I was like, well, yeah, I might as well buy this. I get all, 
all these places open plus you know the base game you can do that who cares but when you're paying 60 bucks for a game out the gate like NBA Live a game that's not going to be relevant next year because they're going to release 2k21 yeah I was trying to make sure my years are correct they'll release 2k21 it won't be relevant to have 2k20 so why are you wasting money it's like FIFA is like tons of money for card packs and all this other crap but you're not oh he doesn't know if he's got it you got it dude what are you stopping for me I'm waiting for this guy um FIFA you're paying all this money for these card packs to for your ultimate team which if that's your jam then do it but I mean why like by the next year all that stuff resets and you're starting over again I mean it doesn't make sense young yeah channel on YouTube don't have any of his shirts I don't know if he has merch but he's covered these kinds of topics recently with the NBA loot box controversy because that was huge and the the ERSB rating system giving it an E for everyone and then finding out that the ERSB doesn't even play games that they rate they're giving the rating based on what the game makers say and then or a trailer that they're delivered and then when the game comes out they actually play it to make sure that it sticks to that rating and somehow they still don't see that the loot boxes and stuff are gambling when they have literal slot machines in there. They have, um, what's the other one? There was another thing that was like, that's gambling. Like they have a, uh, a slot machine and I think they have like a roulette wheel in there. And it's not gambling to them, but yeah yeah it's gambling if you go to vegas or any place that has a casino and that's the shit you're gonna see walking around i've been to casinos i know and i think it's crazy i think it's ruining some of the better games that are available to gamers because that's where i care as a gamer it's ruining some of our game options because you get these crappy games that are only half assed because they expect you to spend money I can say honestly, and I may have already said it when I first started this trend of thinking, I can say honestly I never felt cheated playing Fortnite or Season 6 by the battle pass that I bought. Never felt cheated. I still have a costume. I wonder how it works with the new changes. I might have to look. But I still have a costume as a wolf that I earned for getting to level 100 I think it was. I actually got all the way to the top and I didn't pay to get there um, I did every damn daily challenge I could though let me tell you for XP but I still have a wolf costume that I can't fully use until I get the XP built up but that's cool that I can still earn that I can still finish that skin set and it's like six different costumes I'm sure somebody if they're watching this and they played season six and they know which one I'm talking about like it's a cool costume it's a, like a dire wolf is what they called it or something like that but the point is I never felt cheated for that money that I put into the game and I only did one season I put in a little bit towards uh, extra purchases for some things and the season pass I maybe paid under 60 bucks total I kind of want to pass this guy but I don't know what's around the corner it's a little too dark um, I'm pretty sure I paid under 60 bucks but the point is I didn't feel cheated by anything like I didn't feel like I was ripped off it's a free game I enjoyed it the, I had some co-workers I was playing with at the time so it made the game more fun around then and and then I stopped playing it but some of these other triple A's are thinking that that's gonna be their easy money and I think they're pushing because legislation's coming to uh, hopefully regulate this stuff but hey, I'm passing you buddy it's gonna be risky my truck's at 4% damage? Jeez. Um, and I gotta make a crappy turn here? Um, I think they're pushing because legislation, but I mean, it's not gonna do any good. People are just gonna stop buying the game. Or buying the crap. I think that's really when it'll have an impact, too, is when it starts cutting our bottom line. But I think as a collective, hopefully people are getting sick of it. I'm sick of it. 
the um, I suppose relevant to this video mm, which should be posted next week so I guess it'll still be relevant because the Call of Duty the new Modern Warfare is releasing next week and just this week they um, they talked about I was turning them down don't you worry they got rid of loot boxes I was kind of on the fence because they already have an exclusive mode for PlayStation that's I hate exclusivity sometimes but they initially said and I think they might have backtracked it a little bit but they initially said or maybe they didn't but the spec ops mode there's one of them survival mode that's gonna be an exclusive for PlayStation for up to a whole year that's garbage. Call of Duty is also a game that comes out every year and you're gonna have a mode that's exclusive to one console for a whole year. That's garbage. Like, nobody's gonna be playing that game in a year. There are people that play Call of Duty games for the whole year it's out and there are people that only support certain Call of Duties. Like I know there's the Black Ops fans. I think my girlfriend's a Black Ops. Out of all the Call of Duties, she, Black Ops is her her jam there is uh, there's definitely people like me I never really played black ops which is why I wanted to go through it on the channel which I still got to um, I never really played black ops but I'm interested in it and I want to go through it um, mine was modern warfare actually my, since my, since the first modern warfare Call of Duty 4 modern warfare I've been a modern warfare person and modern warfare 2 is awesome in my opinion and modern warfare 3 i wasn't bad i liked it but at some point everybody knows it with if you you know call of duty's history some point there's just so much that you can do before it's a lot of the same it seems like and there's really they go so hard on some of their stories that i you don't know how they would top it you know modern warfare 2 had the no russian mission i believe it was and there was just no way to really cap that level of shock I don't think but they got rid of loot boxes because they seen in the beta people seen that there was going to be loot boxes and that was one of the things that like I said my girlfriend's a black ops fan that was one of the things that she talked about killed black ops 3 for her was that you'd be grinding it out for these crates and it was to get weapons like they actually had weapons locked away behind these crates and she played for the three years it was out I think after it was out she played that game continuously and never got the one weapon that she wanted and I bought it I had initially bought it on release because my friends had it so I had a copy and then I think I traded it back to GameStop for that you know standard 10 11 bucks they give you when you buy a $60 game um, but I, I, need, I wanted to get something else, I'm pretty sure that's why I traded it. But anyways, I traded it. So I rebought it on digital. I re-got it on digital when I started dating her. And I think one of the 10 initial crates I got for buying the digital, because I bought the digital deluxe or something like that, because it was on a super sale. I think one of the 10 initial crates it gave me, I got the gun that she had been trying three years to get and never got. So how is that fun for anybody? So they got rid of the loot boxes. They're going to have a season pass kind of deal. Because apparently they got rid of... I watched a video this morning where they kind of glossed everything that they... They got rid of the season pass. Or not the season pass, but the... Uh, well, I guess it would be the... The map packs pass. You know, the Call of Duty $50 on top of your $60 game pass that you had to buy just to have the same maps. Because they're going for cross-platform uh, connectivity they got rid of the the map packs and they're just going to be free releases over time so everybody can always play on the maps i think that's great i mean i think it's fantastic that you're going to give more content for the more bang for your buck you know if you want people to stay in your game give us a reason to stay in your game call of duty for me when i bought them on release has always been a purchase that I made because I wanted to play with my friends and that's the only reason I buy it but to buy the map pack oh hell no that ain't happening I'm not gonna play it that long give me three months after your games out and there's already something else coming out just this year alone I feel bad for outer worlds but I don't I do and I don't 
I want to play it because it's the same people that made Fallout New Vegas. And I want to believe that the uh, Obsidian is going to make a great game because it looks fantastic. But they're releasing it on the same day as Call of Duty. And I want to bring up Mad Max for the simple fact that Mad Max went out to pasture because they released Mad Max on the day that Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain came out. That was just murder. Because, I mean, Hideo Kojima. Who's going who's gonna to take a chance on Mad Max versus Hideo Kojima? You know, I mean, there's not maybe a lot of people that might, there's people that won't be fans of Metal Gear Solid or Hideo Kojima, but even I knew the hype surrounding that game, and I, had, I hadn't played Metal Gear since the first one. And eventually I did play it, and I actually liked it up until the halfway point, where then you start repeating missions that are basically the same thing you just did for the first half of the game, which I think is probably one of the biggest complaints of that game, but that's... Of course, as you know, if you know your your gaming, that's when Hideo and Konami started to have their fallout, and they basically just, I think, to, to rush the game or finish the game, they just recapped the whole first half of the game and then threw together an ending, which I still haven't seen other than hearing about it because I never finished it. Because once I got to the halfway point, I'm like, so I'm basically going to start the first mission again? I already did it. It was already a challenge enough because I'm not the best at stealth games, and there's been some games on this channel where you can be like, eh, he's not so great at stealth. Um, what? But that killed Mad Max, and I actually picked up Mad Max on release. I loved that game. I actually was thinking recently about going back through that and playing it again because I loved it. I don't think it got enough attention for what it was. I don't think it got enough attention. But Call of Duty, Outer Worlds, same release day. Eek. Sorry, Outer Worlds. And I actually forgot. I've forgotten about Outer Worlds the last couple months. Until I started seeing stuff recently. I was like, oh, yeah, that is coming out. When is that? Oh, yeah, that's on the same day as Call of Duty. Well, I already pre-ordered Call of Duty. And the thing that pissed me off about Call of Duty in that Spec Ops mode, because now I kind of got off track as I damaged my truck a little more. I got off track a little bit, but... The reason I was mad about that exclusivity so much is that I pre-ordered the $200 fancy night vision goggles edition because you better believe I pre-ordered the goggles edition the first time it came out. I'm ready for some updated goggles. And they will be making their appearance when I inevitably do the Call of Duty campaign videos for this channel. But the fact that I paid 200 bucks for your game, and I said this, <laughs> this is where I'm going to throw out, well, I did this. I did make a tweet on that on their page about shitting on my $200 pre-order just because I've always played it on Xbox. I've always, my friends have been on Xbox. I've always played Call of Duty on Xbox. All of my friends I would play Call of Duty with are on Xbox. So I ordered the $200 Xbox version because that's where my friends are and that's where they'll probably stay. And they're going to start capping off content that I can't play because I chose Xbox many years ago. And this goes all the way back to Modern Warfare 4. And when I started buying it to play with my friends. So you're telling me I can't play certain modes because I'm not a PlayStation fanboy? Recently I bought a PlayStation. I enjoy PlayStation. I love Spider-Man. I loved it so much I did a butt ton of content in there. I've played Until Dawn, Man of Medan. Um, God of War I started but I'm gonna do some videos for that so I haven't really got into it much but the girlfriend was playing that recently and, and it looks great Persona 5 I mean I can go down the list of recent PlayStation games where I'm like yeah I love this console but I've always played Call of Duty on Xbox and the fact that they're locking away a mode because I don't buy it on PlayStation is garbage that kind of stuff is garbage there's still a Spec Ops mode, you're just not the Spec Ops survival mode. Which, who knows, maybe the mode will be trash and maybe it won't matter. But it's the fact of the matter that they could do something like that. The good news is they got rid of the loot boxes, they're going in favor of season passes. And I think that's a smart move. It's still a hard, hard pass, maybe, for me. Because games like Apex Legends, which I love over Fortnite right now, um... Apex hasn't figured out how to do a decent battle pass to save, or battle pass, not season pass. That's why I keep getting it wrong. They haven't figured out how to do a decent battle pass, and they're on their third one right now. 
I look at the battle pass for Apex and there's nothing great after level 25 to begin with. And level 25 gets you something great and it's just because it's a great skin. But their offerings are garbage and I don't know how they could mess it up. Fortnite had done it at least seven or eight seasons, maybe even nine before they released Apex. I mean, you have the framework in front of you. I'm not saying you got to copy the kid you sit next to in class, but take some damn notes at least or ask them what they're doing. I mean, you can see what's successful for Fortnite and it just doesn't feel the same. And I think it's because all the skins that you can buy in Apex Legends, not not money wise now, I'm going to talk about all the, the ones that shipped with the game. All of your common, rare, or common, uncommon, rare, and legendary or whatever, they're all variations on the same thing. Like, every Apex character has a common costume that's blue, or red, or yellow, or green, and then when you go up to the next tier, and those are like the common, so those are your grays. You go up to your next tier, every character has a costume that has red that's like digitally moving through the, the clothing. And then they have blue that's digitally moving through the clothing, and yellow, and green. And they don't see a problem with that. Like, there's no variety. At least for Fortnite, and it's probably because it's different characters, that's probably what makes it easier for Fortnite. But you have, like, Skull Trooper, and then you had the DJ Llama, which is one I really loved. I don't know why. I looked at that damn Llama and was like, I must have that Llama. That must be a character I can play as. And it, I guess it's because it changes the characters, but it's stuff that you would want. You're giving me basically like some of the cool costumes. Like I'll admit season two's Apex um, up to level 25. Level 25 was the, uh, the kind of samurai looking warrior for the, uh, ah, what's his name? The toxic guy who has the NOS gas or whatever, the noxious gas. Um, it was a really cool looking armor for that character but that was at level 25 I looked at the rest and I, yeah, I bought the season pass for Apex for season 2 like a dummy but I looked at I looked past level 25 and actually my girlfriend hit I think pretty high on that I didn't I think she was at level 60 or something like that um, but I looked past 25 and there really wasn't a ton of, of content there I mean, they, they let you have menu music, which Fortnite does that. They let you pick some of your load screens, but you can only choose one, which I think it might have... I don't know if that changed in this season, because I just noticed they gave you all the quips. And that's the other thing. You had quips, but you can only choose one. Now you can choose multiple quips, apparently, and you can pick which one you want to say, which I guess I would relate that to the dances in Fortnite, where you can have, you know, like six dances that you can pick. But, and that was probably another thing that got pulled out because obviously with all those lawsuits of people claiming they weren't getting credit for their dances yada 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 but anyways there really wasn't any meat on the bone for the season pass it's garbage all your costumes are the same they're just different colors I mean some of the costumes have been pretty cool my favorite costume I don't even think was in a season pass. I think it was just one you could craft. It's the um, like the one for Wraith, where she's kind of got like the kind of like psycho patient kind of. Um, it's like a greenish with a mask on, and she looks like she escaped from the ward, but she could be dressed up like a doctor too. Like that costume's cool. That's not in the season pass. I mean, the whole Wild Hunt stuff kind of looked cool, but it was kind of eh. It's garbage. So, I don't know if I'll be buying Call of Duty's Battle Pass or whatever. I mean, 10 bucks on top of 60 bucks is, it's 10 bucks on top of 60 bucks. And for me, it's 10 bucks on top of 200 bucks. I don't know if it'll be worth it. If it's just reskins and things that are garbage, like right now they have a bunch of face paints and stuff. We played, uh, me and the girlfriend played Blackout yesterday. Call of Duty 4, Black Ops 4, we played a little bit of Blackout and Zombies and stuff. I mean, if it's just face paints and stuff, it's going to be garbage. Because that stuff's like minuscule. I mean, they charged a dollar last year for a reticle. A red dot reticle, which used to be an in-game thing. 
So the monetization is killing these games and loot boxes and all this garbage. I feel like I ran it on forever about that, but it's true. Man, I almost shoved my truck right up that guy's ass. This video is a long one. I knew I should have done a shorter load. Because now all I'm doing is just ranting and raving about how times have changed and gotten for the gotten worse. And I still probably have an estimated half hour before this load's finished. But man, I'm gonna have some cash when I'm done. And only a slightly busted truck. What's my trailer? My trailer's at 3%. That was for that one truck that rammed me sideways. When I kinda made my wide, my not wide enough turn. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, I'm sure when I strap on my Modern Warfare hat and I'm playing through that campaign, I'm sure I'll go into this same topic if the, if the content's garbage. But the good news is I'm still here just to play the games too. I've got um, Call, of Call of Duty Ghosts wrapping up soon. I think it was only like five videos, maybe six. Uh, definitely one of their shorter campaigns for any Call of Duty, that's for sure. Alright, I'm passing you guys. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm passing. Um, definitely one of their shorter campaigns out of all the Call of Duties I've ever played. I mean, I'm, I'm used to a 8 to 10 hour, maybe, Call of Duty campaign. Man, like 6 hours, I think, or less, and I was breezing through it. Now, it wasn't on the hardest difficulty, so, heaven forbid, the hardest difficulty probably takes 8 hours to go... A little slower but man on a normal whew, and I made some mistakes even and that game actually I thought was kind of cool everybody rags on it and I think it got a bad window because it released on the end of the 360 and the beginning of the Xbox one console life but it's not horrible it's not just never gonna have an ending I guess at this point because Spoiler alert, but not. There's kind of a little bit of a cliffhanger at the end of Ghosts, and I don't know what happens now, because I ain't going to make a second one. Because that, um, that was an Infinity Ward adventure, too. And they're, they're back into the modern warfare again, so we'll see. How much time before my character starts yawning? Oh, he's got five hours, so I could probably take... What's he supposed to be there? He's supposed to be there Friday at 10 a.m. I'm gonna have to take one more break. We got nine hours left, which I'm estimating probably another 25 minutes of video. Already hitting the two hour mark. I'm estimating 25 more minutes of video. I'm gonna use my speed to pass this guy. I'm probably gonna get a speeding ticket. Start slowing down really hardcore here. Where are we at? Beatty, Beatty. Oh, this is still Nevada. I think I drove through here. In real life. I think. I don't know what I'm going to do to get these side streets. You guys probably can barely see it now. It's going under my head there. The side streets in here, I don't know how I'm going to discover those roadways. I might just have to, like, be off a load and just kind of cruise around. All right, let's try to make this turn like a professional. Go ultra, ultra wide. It's okay if I hit the truck tire on the curb a little bit. Not supposed to, but I will. I will allow as long as the trailer didn't swing too, too out of control. Need to get some gas soon too. There's only a. Oh, I passed a rest stop. So, oh, there's a fuel. Oh, it's a way station. It looks like the fuel's on the left side of the road up there. I love the night life.
I'm gonna have to pass this guy. I don't think I. I thought I, I thought I might have saw a glimmer of a headlight. Damn. I knew that was gonna be a bad move. I knew I was in for it. All right, let's go to the buzz. Let's see what's on. I've been listening to classic rock for a while now. Let's see what else is on the radio. After this ad that plays. I love the nightlife. I still could pass this dude. I'm pretty sure. Where's that way station? Uh, oh, they do have a, I do see a gas station and a rest stop on my side. So maybe I'll do all of it. Oh, why are you slowing down? The speed limit says 80, you should be going faster. Yeah, I'm gonna get gas and rest, and then that way I can just resume the rest of this load. Because I'll have 14 hours fresh on the clock. And I'll be, I'll be freshly gassed, freshly slept. See if I can pull in here and pull into a rest stop without hitting anybody. Spend another 500 bones on the gas, I bet. Now I have to get over here. Give it to me, come on. Yes. Now how I'm gonna get out of here, no idea. Like, I feel like I parked horribly. Yeah, I did. I did not park the best. Not a bad shot, though. If I do say so myself. I think I'm gonna have to pull around. If I can wing it out just enough. And most of our scales are CAT certified, not TR. Don't know what this TR is. I think I can follow this around. Oof, that was tight on that truck too. I wish I would have known that because I would have probably parked this way for sleeping, but oh well. No harm, no foul yet. Probably the best rest stop I could have planned to stop at for what my load is, that's for sure. I like how the speed limit's 80 right there. There's no freaking way that makes any sense. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, go. Oh, come on, car. You know I'm coming out into traffic. 
Nice. It's 80 on the freeway, too. I'll, you better believe if this truck will go 80, I'll get it to 80. We got a full clock. We got eight hours to go. 80 miles an hour, don't mind if I do. And if we got eight hours left, that'll put me well ahead of schedule. I'll be there roughly at 11 p.m. to midnight. I don't think the speed limit's gonna stay 80 though for the whole way, but whatever. I'm sure I'll have to stop at a way station too, so it'll probably be midnight. This truck pulls nicely. I'm glad I upgraded the engine because I don't think I had it this easy before I upgraded it. Is that a, oh man, that's a slowdown. Where are we at? We're, are we still in Nevada? I couldn't read that sign. I think we're still in Nevada. Las Vegas. Yeah, we're still in Nevada. I wonder if this route is going to cut across the 40 through Arizona to Page. Because I've never actually been to Page, I don't think, in real life either. Biz Marquee. Yeah, this song will get pulled. Guess what I saw? Has a friend. Yo, got what I need. See, man, the classic hip hop plays the right songs. Speeding through Vegas. Back to Cali. What time is it? 2 30 in the afternoon. Double G I E. It's the N O T O R I O U S. You just lay down slow. Recognize a real dawn when you see one. Going, going back, back to Cali, Cali. If you don't know Biggie, what are you doing with yourself? What are you doing with yourself musically if you don't know Biggie? Or Pac. Where are you coming out from? You gotta turn on your lights, officer. I got to choose the east. I live out there, so don't go there. But that don't mean that you can't west in the west. Choose the lights in the west. The amazing Bronco Jelly Neck? That's new to me. The Bugs glove. I have a feeling that's the Beatles, but I don't know what that's in reference to. Beyond that. I may know Biggie, but I don't know the Beatles. I think they're a little overrated, if you ask me. 
looking back at their library. They got some good songs, but I don't know how they had all that lasting power. Other than people drinking the nostalgia juice. Biggie, biggie, give me one more chance. Oh, what's this car doing? Hey, man. Is there a lane here? Because I need to turn right. Yeah, there's a lane here. Great place to visit. Once we get out of Vegas, it should be mostly highway. Don't turn red. Don't turn red. Slow down, then turn the wheel. All right, I'm getting there. Not horrible. Probably would have got a few looks from people in real life. I mean, it's a big trailer. What am I supposed to do? That's what I want to know. Some of these loads, when you get these huge trailers, what are you supposed to do? We can do it again. When you pick a pan off the stove, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. I'm going to leave my freestyle career in the dust. Ooh. I almost cut that a little sharp. I'm like right on the edge of hitting the trailer on that. Ooh. What are you doing? My little baby horn. I wish my horn sounded a little more... A little more like an adult car. Sounds like a little station wagon horn. If it says page is straight, why am I turning? Well, I guess it's probably the only route they have. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Car, you better slow down. I'm turning. Oh, he's turning too. Well, what happens when you want to race? Speeding out of Vegas. So we're on 93 now. 70 miles an hour. Let's get it. Get it cracking. 80 miles an hour. I love it. Give it to me all the way. And I've taken plenty of pictures by this Vegas sign, so I ain't stopping. I don't think I actually seen the Vegas sign in real life when I was in Vegas. I think that was because the way I came in was the other side of town. I don't think I actually saw it. 55? Oh, the dam. I need to get over into this lane. I haven't even got up to 70 yet and I'm already going to slow down. Good thing. Good thing I'm just barely a fraction over 55. Arizona. Oh, 
pocket lock at all. I'm gonna pass this guy. So we're gonna go through Kingman first. I bet we are gonna take the 40, either that or Route 66. I'm trying to think. Yeah, we'll be on 93 for a minute. It's either going to be the 40 or Route 66. It might be Route 66, because I think the 40 starts to head south towards New Mexico. But we'll see here. Busta Rhymes. Good old Busta Rhymes. I don't know what happened to that dude. Nine seven. That makes me feel old. This song's like twenty years old. That means twenty years ago, because I remember when this song came out. That means twenty years ago I was rocking to this, thinking I was cool. And I don't know what happened to Busta Rhymes. Dude got large and then got muscly. And I thought he was gonna be around for a while. Nope. Not so much bus a bus anymore. If you really want to party with me. to be if you really want to party with me you know what I liked about Busta Rhymes back when he came out at first I didn't like this song I know I didn't like this song because the video kind of like eh but after a while it grew on me and you know what I liked about Busta Rhymes is he had some crazy videos like am I gonna uh, oh you can bypass okay thank goodness Maybe when you have a heavy load, they don't have you stop in. I'm okay with that. Um, what I liked about Busta Rhymes is he had some crazy music videos. And I think one of my favorites was... Uh, do I have to get off the freeway? Oh, it's Kingman, that's why. Ooh, gotta slow down. Um, give me some more. I like that video. He had like a Saturday morning cartoon vibe in that video. Oh, shit. Speeding for a thousand. Good thing I paid off all my loans. All the, all the money my drivers are earning me are going straight to traffic violations. Um, they, give me some more, had like a Saturday morning cartoon vibe. Like a real kind of comical look to it. And I loved the shit out of that video. He's like a, a little person with some big old freaking muscly arms running around. And then uh, and then he's in a cowboy suit at one point. He's like a rapper video kind of making fun of that guy at one point where he's got like the car and the fur coat and the, uh, the money, obviously. Um, what else was in that video? I think that was the big one was him like chasing the... Uh, I don't know if it was a housekeeper or the mom of the house as like a crazy kid out of control. Those videos were awesome. And then I think Ludacris kind of did some of that in his videos, which I thought was kind of cool. I don't know if that was like an homage or if that's just the videos that he wanted to do too, but some of his videos had some pretty crazy... Uh... Am I going to have to get off on Andy Devine? This will tell me if I'm going on 66 or not. No, I'm gonna go straight. Okay, fair enough. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it was an homage or what. And then speaking of out there videos, then you had Eminem, since this song's playing now. He did some crazy videos too. And I used to like Eminem when he came out, but it's like many people in the world these days, they got all too political.
and ain't nobody got time for that. I'm not interested. Sing the chorus and it goes, and if that's your thing, then do you, as I say. But that was not, not what I want in my music, necessarily. Especially when it seems kind of like you're being a hypocrite. But his videos were crazy when they came out. I remember watching, it's gonna make me sound old too, I remember watching MTV making the video for this video. Cause I'm pretty sure they had him making a video for this video. He was driving around doing the donuts and stuff. That was a kind of a cool show. See how music videos were made. They had this one. Um, Cause I used to just like the show, so don't hate me on the, the content. But I remember this was when NSYNC was big, Britney Spears was big, Christina Aguilera was big, Deep Blue Sea was coming out, so they did the LL Cool J video, Deepest Bluest. I remember that one, because I, I love that song. I don't care how cheesy that song sounds, and I don't care that I just realized the other day, I think I was playing this game, and I realized that LL Cool J said, my hat is like a shark spin like I think in the early 90s in one of his songs. I don't care about any of that. I like that song and I like that movie. So I liked that making the video just because I like that song. But there was that one I remember watching. Um, what else did they have? I know they had NSYNC, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears. I think the Britney Spears song was Lucky or something like that. So that's the time period if that helps. 99, 2000, back when TRL was still a thing. I think they had a Blink-182 making of the video. Because that was when, uh, I think that was around when Enema of the State came out. It was good times. Good times when they used to have shows about... Oof. When they used to have shows, I can't believe it. <laughs> Saved it. Look, there's the Home Depot. I mean, the Home Store. Um, when they used to have shows about music and actually how the process went down, that's kind of nice. Don't have that anymore. Let's talk about how little Janie is 14 and she got pregnant somehow. That was when MTV started to drift in there content for my for my taste music television became no longer music television it just became television and they're gonna play a lot of music so you think that they still earn that M that's there but no music television used to be about music and then I remember fuse TV when it came out I was so excited because they actually did a lot more music coverage and they covered more of a spectrum of like the heavy metal they used to have uh, Julia one of the VJs I think they did a metal show and they used to play some of that and that was when I was getting into metal so that was like right up my alley with what I wanted to listen to and watch not anymore and I think, I think streaming has relatively killed music sales for most artists too. It is what it is. iTunes isn't iTunes anymore. I just realized that the other day. And the sad part was I only knew because someone posted, I think, a meme about it. I liked iTunes for the most part. I fought digital so hard for so long on music. I still have a garage full of probably 800 to 1,000 CDs. And then I was still burning CDs from the digital stuff I would buy because I'm one of those older people that's like, ah, but you don't own it if you don't have a copy of it. They can take it away. Fought it for so long. And now iTunes isn't iTunes anymore. It's just I think it's just called music. I haven't even looked into it. I think it's just called music. And I think they they've had their 
I mean, it makes sense if they're getting, if they're simplifying their apps. I don't use and or Apple, so I don't know. If they're simplifying their apps, so it makes sense to have just everything under the music instead of iTunes and then a music one separate. That part makes sense. I'm totally on board with that. But, and I guess you'll still have access to all the albums you bought. So hopefully if I have to, I can go make, go make my hard copies of my discs. So I have my songs that I paid for, but times are changing for music. I know I don't spend as much on music as I used to, that's for sure. I remember going to Best Buy when I worked at the mine and spending 200, I tell the girlfriend all the time, sometimes I'd go in there and spend 250 bucks between movies and CDs. A paycheck if I had it. Not every paycheck, but a lot of paychecks. I needed to get all the movies I wanted. I needed all the music I wanted. And the funniest thing about the whole thing is I had an iPod anyways. So I would buy the CDs and then I would download them and save them to my computer and then put them on my iPod. So I just buying digital. And then the iPod was a pain in the butt. I mean, I loved it, but it was a pain in the butt because if you hooked it up to a library that wasn't yours and you didn't have it set up right, it would erase your whole iPod and put that other library it was mirroring into your iPod, which not always what you wanted to do. So I used to have to set up all my friends' iPods so that you could basically... I mean, I get why they did it, but then again, I don't get why they did it. They didn't want you just basically getting all your music for free from your friends, which that makes sense to an extent. That makes sense. You need to make money. I get it. Whatever. But the fact that if you didn't know about setting it to where you had to manually change your library, it would screw people up so bad. So I used to have to set up a lot of iPods for people and then I had to tell them like, hey, it's set to where it won't auto update your library. It's a cool feature to auto update too because that means you can buy your music and then just plug in your iPod and you know you don't have to sit there like I did and manually add all the new stuff you just bought. Totally get it. Totally cool. Kind of makes it worth it. However, for that one reason of if you plug into a library that's not yours, you're screwed. And the worst part is if you plugged in not remembering that because maybe you just needed to plug in and charge it and you're like, oh, I got a charge cable. You can use mine. That's all she wrote on that. Then you're stuck with somebody else's music till you can get home and fix your own library. But streaming has eliminated that need. I think I got Spotify a few months ago just because my iPod started messing up with my car. It wasn't connecting right. And I was like, you know what, this is getting old. And my car obviously Bluetooth to my phone. So much easier though. Just make a playlist. Of course, if I stop paying for it, there goes all my playlists. But make a playlist, put the music you want, whatever it is, as long as it's available on Spotify, you just put it in your playlist and go. You got all these random playlists you can play. Those are handy. Sometimes you wanna to listen to like old rock, you just put on an old rock playlist. There it is. I'll run 89 to page, so this must be like, okay, I know which highway this is. This is the one after Flagstaff, because we just went through Flagstaff, okay. I'm gonna get pissed if I'm stuck behind this guy. Two guys, three guys, oh man. I got two hours left and you guys are killing my buzz. I don't know if I got enough room to pass this guy, but I got enough I got enough cojones to take the chance, I guess. That's right, I said it. And I did it. Alright, nice. Relatively incident free. Oh, a roundabout? Oh. Who'd have thought this far into the game I'd hit something that's gonna be tragic? I'm going to take both lanes for this roundabout.
Luckily, I came through at 10 o'clock at night. Let's go slow. Actually, follow the speed limit this time. There we go. Okay, that wasn't bad. Not horrible, I should say. Sixty-five. Let's do it. I wonder how many times in these videos when I'm just chatting, these random truck driving videos, how many times I'm chatting, and I wonder how many times somebody goes, man, you're dating yourself right now. You're old. I kind of feel it sometimes. Not even intentionally, it just kind of happens. It's all these slowdowns. I think in real life these slowdowns have to be longer. We're at 92,000. It's kind of nice not having to pay for loans on the daily, man. My money's just going. It's going up. Sorry, this road's a little too shaky for me to just be low beams. for life. See, I can't even be mad at this ad. It's just the ad that the station chose to play. Ah, whatever. I'll turn them down. Longest video ever. These videos are always long. I'm at 2 hours and 33 minutes right now. Since I hit record, I gotta make shorter trips when I do these videos. That's what I'm. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm feeling right now. I do shorter runs. Stop trying to do these big dollar, hundred and some dollar loads, hundred and some thousand dollar loads. Boom, there it is. That'll make me old if I say I remember when that song came out. That's only because I have a good memory, though, because I was like 91, I think. And I was in first grade. I definitely don't remember the wild thing. Tone Loke. No, this ain't Tone Loke. I stand corrected. I remember when this song came out. I thought it was going to be Wild Thing. I was like, I remember when Wild Thing was a thing, but not when it came out. But this song I remember. It's a Sunday afternoon, I believe. We'll find out in a second. As we near the end of my run, finally, 22 minutes left on the drive clock, so probably five minutes left in the real world. We're entering Paige as we speak. Why are you going so slow? No, this isn't Sunday afternoon either. Get my hands on you. Lighter shade of brown was the Sunday afternoon one. I don't know who this is. Why is he slowing down so much? I mean, it's 35 now, but... No, yeah, it wasn't too far off, about five minutes. Once I get my hands on you. 
I hope he goes straight. Alright, pull it kind of wide. Slow down. Turn this music down. Ooh, that wasn't bad. On the right side, that was pretty sweet. Now let's see what kind of crap parking lot I gotta pull this sucker into. I'm gonna go super slow because I don't wanna miss the turn and I definitely don't wanna have to back up in this thing. Page discovered 10 out of 15 in Arizona. Getting there. Oh, hell. All right. I'm taking up this whole other lane. And he's like waiting for me. Dude. I ran into your loader, I'm sorry. Dude, I didn't think my truck would get hung up. I got my truck hung up more than the trailer right now. I don't even know if I could drift this thing into the right spot. I might have to auto I might have to auto park this thing. Alright, let's see. See if I'm learning anything. Not bad. It's definitely outside of it, though. Ooh, it gave it to me. I'll take it. Holy crap. Okay, 1,500 miles. Jeez, look at that money though. Boom, boom, boom. So 114,000 leveled up again. Shaggy in the background. What more could you want? Let's do 25% higher reward for high value or 12% for. Let's go high value one more time. Man, there we go. New upgrades available. What do we got? Tire stuff. Oh, paint jobs. Okay. Cool deal. Cool beans, as the kids used to say. Now that I really wanted to date myself, cool beans. So, all right. Let's uh, let's call it a day. This was a long trip. Uh, thanks for watching. If you did, of course, uh, keep an eye out for the other videos I talked about mentioned coming up on the channel. Um, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. If you comment, I try my best to answer everyone back because it's not like I'm flooded with them yet. Until I get a bajillion subscribers, I'll probably be able to answer everyone on there. If you got any requests, let me know. Uh, if it's an older game, of course, that you saw on the channel before and I'm not playing it, uh, this is how this game, uh, people requested that I keep playing Euro Truck or American Truck, so I try to get at least one video a week out for that. But if there's something else you saw that you want me to get back to if I haven't, uh, and it's a longer game like this where it's just kind of going and go, let me know other games i'm going to try to get back to and finish up with more videos but until then we will see you next time thanks for watching i almost hit the wrong button but i didn't so for that i will say a goodbye for now i don't know oh it's got a timer for recording dude obs sometimes you come out with some good stuff this time I'm okay with that. The whole, all of your stupid overlays have to be Twitch Prime members. That can eat a fat one, as they say. But I will tell you, this timer for recording, me likey. Me likey a lot. Cheers, OBS.